My name is Dr. Samantha Cross. They're gonna kill me for what I'm about to say. But if I don't come forward now, millions of innocent people will pay the price for my silence. Six months ago, I was recruited by this man, David Archer, to work on a classified research program codenamed Nightfall. We don't have time for the whole story. All you need to know is that the cryptid outbreak in Colorado was only the tip of the iceberg. While the military fought the outbreak, Archer was smuggling cryptid specimens out of the quarantine zone. The Nightfall program continued in secret. They're coming for me. Find Archer. Destroy Nightfall. David Archer. He was a top shooter with the SAS until he washed out on a Section 8. Now he's the shot caller for the Nightfall outfit. I met Archer during the war. He didn't strike me as the type to crack under pressure, but this tape from his psych evaluation suggests otherwise. And when did this happen, Sergeant? Pakistan. Swap Valley. Six-man kill team, black on black. The op went pear-shaped, but some asshole in white op denied extraction. Said they couldn't risk a diplomatic incident. <laughs> they left us up there for six weeks, hiding out in those caves like animals. That's where I saw them for the first time. And by them, you mean these aliens? What are you smiling about? Uh, please sit down, Sergeant. Did I say something funny? Uh, please, Sergeant, I... God! Samantha Cross, PhD in Paleolinguistics. She was a rising star at Harvard before she vanished last year. Cross is some kind of savant. A natural code breaker. She turned down a seven-figure contract with the NSA to dig holes in the jungle. She disappeared a week after this interview aired. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. What exactly is a polyglot savant? Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> um, I was born with a rare neurological condition. My brain processes complex patterns differently, like a, a code or a language. And how many languages do you speak fluently? I speak 27 languages, or no wait, uh, 28, including a few that haven't been spoken in thousands of years. Why? Dead languages can be very powerful. They're like skeleton keys. We can use them to unlock the secrets of the past. I've been here a month, but I still freeze up every time I hear that shrieking coming from the hatchery. Archer says it's a normal reflex, something hardwired in our DNA from prehistoric times. He calls them cryptids. I've seen specimens from a dozen different species, plants, animals, things they don't even have a name for, an entire ecosystem. It's the greatest scientific discovery of the century. Why are they keeping it all a secret? And why did they fly me halfway around the world to see this? It's been two months. I've been studying the records of the Nightfall program. After the caverns were breached by an Odin strike, Archer discovered the colony in Colorado. He brought the specimens here. They found out later that the cryptid homeworld was a harsh planet. Its skies stained black from the ash of a thousand volcanoes. A comet ignited the oxygen in the atmosphere. That firestorm incinerated every living thing on the surface of the planet. And that planet was Earth, 300 million years ago. Which is why Archer hates it when people drop the A word. There's nothing alien about the cryptids. They've been here longer than we have. The cryptids are a frightening demonstration of natural selection. Each species is connected to the others by a web of symbiotic relationships. The cryptids cultivate and defend huge fungal colonies called hives. The hives emit pheromones that stimulate the cryptids' cold-blooded metabolism. Rapid cellular regeneration renders the hives nearly indestructible. The entire system is fueled by geothermal heat instead of sunlight. They survived underground when the comet hit. That was the third time that all life on Earth was destroyed. After three months of sitting on my frozen ass, Archer finally showed me why I'm here. The surprise was worth the wait. 
We call it the obelisk. It's two tons of solid volcanic obsidian. Our geology expert tells me the glyphs must have been cut while the glass was still cooling, roughly 150 million years ago. The symbols etched into the surface of the artifact are... They're strangely familiar. I see similarities to Akkadian cuneiform, echoes of the Mayan hieroglyphs at Yachilan. I told Archer that translating a dead language is like... It's like solving a crime. I need the facts to find the clues. Like, where the hell did this thing come from? And, and what else did he find there? I didn't get the answers I wanted. For some reason, Archer and the others are keeping me in the dark. I've hardly slept in three weeks. The translation consumes every waking minute. Archer brought me out to the hatchery today. He said I needed a break from the translation. He said he had something special he wanted me to see. We watched while it tore its way out of an egg sac the size of a trailer and proceeded to eviscerate a terrified horse that Archer forced into its pen. I can't get the sound of that animal screams out of my mind. Archer was, was laughing and smoking a cigar like, like a proud father. I don't know how long it's been since the outbreak started. Minutes, days, <laughs> I can't tell the difference anymore. Those things are still hunting me. I must be the only one left. It's always the same. Over and over. I run, they catch me. But somehow, <laughs> I'm still here. I can feel their hatred. The bloodlust is driving them mad. But their fear is stronger. What are they afraid of? What do they smell inside me? You don't need to know my reasons. All you need to know is what I have to offer and what I want in return. You are a traitor, and you expect us to trust you. I expect you to act in your own self-interest. I'm sending you a sample. Photos, research, data, prototypes. Everything you need to confirm that my offer is legitimate. Next time we talk, you'll be ready to deal, or I'll take my business elsewhere. Perhaps to one of your competitors. You have 24 hours to consider my offer. Get quick. 400 million US for the live specimens. Another 200 million for the Nightfall research data. I don't need money. I need a ship and a crew that can follow my orders. We don't have time to haggle. I need your answer tonight. Why? There's been a... leak. Someone on the inside. We have to assume this location has been compromised. How long do you have? 18 hours to win our holes. After that, well, you saw what happened in Colorado. We agree there would be no further contact until we've got a big bloody problem. Someone sabotaged the hatchery. The cryptids are running amok. Problems are expensive, Mr. Archer. You cannot afford another. I need extraction team now! Are you saying that you will not be able to deliver the items you promised? Are you listening? It's a bloody slaughterhouse! Then you can throw yourself to the creatures. Or try to hold out until the Americans arrive. I believe the cryptids will be more merciful. Goodbye, Mr. Archer. I'll see you in hell, you backstabbing <laughs> If I'm going to die in this frozen shine hole, I want to see the face of the man who killed me. There you are. You know what you're about. You understand what makes them tick. You're just like one of them. A cold-blooded killer. It's time you and I had a little chat, Dr. Cross. I want to renegotiate. Mr. Archer, our business is concluded. There is nothing more to say. Take a good look. If I hang up now, this is as close as you'll ever get. What is that? A taste of things to come. I took these photos myself in the Colorado caverns. At this moment, only three people on the planet know what we found down there. Including you. And a third? A woman of unique talents. Soon we will stand at the gate of the underworld. Dr. Cross is the key that will unlock them. You've seen the file on the Colorado expedition. My people have confirmed its authenticity. 
The structure in those photos is a kind of time capsule. An ark, built to survive an ancient apocalypse. You believe there are others like it? <laughs> I've bet my life on it. And you know how to find them? I know someone who does. Good morning. How do you feel, Dr. Cross? <sighs> like I'm gonna throw up. That's just seasickness. What? Where am I? Please don't try to move. The implants are still bonding. What are you talking about? What did you do to me? Welcome aboard, Doctor. Let's get to work, shall we? No!